Welcome friends, hello, good evening. Um, I'm very happy to be here because we had a lot of fun with this game yesterday and I really can't uh, wait to play more. Dev was hyping me even more a little bit writing on Discord that he thinks I'm gonna really like the fourth act. So I'm really hyped now and I um, can't wait to find out what it's gonna be. Uh, although we're not gonna play so much at first, maybe, because I remember that we were in the middle of some cutscenes. So that's, I think, the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna watch a little bit of cutscenes and then I hope we can play a little bit more. All right, here we go. Ah, yeah, okay, that's where we left off. I remember they were going through the sewers, escaping and uh, trying to catch up with the van that left through the sewers that was supposed to have Big Boss. Big Boss's body. Wait, what's there? Oh, who the hell is that? Is that liquid? Liquid. What? Isn't it? Is it? I mean, if he just shoots liquid in the head and then they shoot him, I think the story would be complete, no? Because he anyway has to die because of fox die mutation and liquid also has to die, no? to seek you see I've got the upper hand since when the system you'll only have one part of the Patriots AI the military part Oh, it's a stun knife, right? Or shock knife.
pieces we were able to reconstruct, and then we stowed it away inside JD's network. This man's body has served me well, allowing me to pass every security barrier between me and GW. After all, the Patriot system is nothing more than a machine. Now that GW is a spook inside the network, there's no way JD would recognize it as an external threat. Once I destroy JD with a nuclear strike, the Patriot's network will be mine. And then, I'll build my haven, free from all forms of control. I'll cast aside my old identity and take my own name for the first time. should have existed. As we both live, the world will not know an age of light. If we're to pass the baton to the next generation, the only choice left to us is death. That happened. Okay. I wish the story would just be a tiny bit less over the top so you could follow it easier. And, you know, it doesn't have to be always the most crazy thing.
think it's pretty clear what's gonna happen now. Or, I don't know. My guess is liquid will activate something. No. His secret weapon, or? Are we sure we have enough guns, guys? <laughs> I mean, it is well made, that you have to say. But still. Okay. It's not everybody reloaded his weapon finally after two minutes. Come on, there's certainly one guy who hasn't reloaded. Please, please reload your weapon. <laughs> All of you, drop your weapons and put your hands up. And more. Liquid, stop! Fire! Well, what a surprise. <laughs> what if Mera is still so happy about that feature?
Because he doesn't have nano machines, I guess. It was already in the last video. When this was activated, he was the only guy who was uh, who was fit, and I guess that's the reason why he's acting so weird in the regular times. Because his emotions are not suppressed, and he's not like uh, you know he doesn't have performance boosts and so on. I guess it was why he was from the beginning so weird. We saw that already earlier in the last uh, cutscene, but nobody from the main character seemed to realize. So. Uh, yeah, I guess now it's confirmed. Well, but Snake can shoot them, no? Doesn't he have removed the ID checked uh, with Draven? I think he can shoot everybody, no? Oh boy, it's a special kind of family reunion.
All right. Okay. <laughs> this is long. This is really long. I mean, this is super long. Now, who's this guy? I mean, we know who he is, but who is he really? He must be the son of somebody or the clone of whoever God knows, no? Oh man, that's weak. That's how they do it in movies. They do it incorrectly in movies. <laughs> because they don't want to break somebody's, uh, some actor's chest. And now they're doing the same stupidity. You don't bow your elbows, you just go through. All right. What the fuck? Okay, Meryl. Hey. Dude. The guy has like the cheesiest scenes of all games.
Like I said, we pride ourselves on service. Come on, let's take this guy to his friends. Man, this game is endless cutscenes. It's basically like half an hour already that we're watching this. Uh, okay, we got 12,000, which is okay. Hey, I need to sleep. But a high is a necessity. All right. Hey, Bacon, good to see you, man. So you're early on Rave stream. What's up? Everything all right so far? I think we can save on the on the same as before. Not much has happened except more videos that we watched. Yeah, I need some sleep because four hours ain't gonna be enough. Oh man. Okay, four is really not enough. For me, I draw the line at seven. Everything below seven is eh. And everything above seven is nice. Yeah, four is not enough. <laughs> What was that? That never happens. I cooked eggs. That never happens. <laughs> what the hell are you watching? This is Metal Gear Solid 4, a game that has just as many videos and cutscenes as it has gameplay, in my opinion. So, <laughs> it's a little awkward, yeah. And they're well done, but they're a little overly long. Uh and interrupting the action too much in my opinion because the action is really really good at this game it plays really well but it's just not enough gameplay compared to all the cutscenes in between Going to sleep now. Good night, Internet and Mr. Ducky. Good night, Bacon. Thanks so much for stopping by. See you soon. Have a great night and a great day. See you around. Video 
your feed from the Mark II cuts off here. Haven. Yeah. Revan was saying something about that. Come. In the beginning, the Patriot system was controlled by four AIs, with JD at the top. All right, this is cool. This is maybe the best part of the game that you have. The Patriots thought it had been destroyed. But Liquid was able to use it as cover to slip inside the system. Story and cutscene and you can play around. That's great. I love that. You might have heard that name before. <coughs> GW was one of the Patriot Cell AIs. It was installed on Arsenal Gear. Emma's worm should have put it permanently out of commission. But Liquid somehow recovered and repaired it. I'm guessing JD must be unable to recognize GW, even though it's inside the Patriot system. Hey, there we go, another music item. It's a blind spot. GW was written off as lost while it was still tied in. Using it was liquid to interfere with the AI from the inside. He made contact under the guise of Big Boss's genetic code. Even the AI threat detection system was fooled. Uh, even on the network. Uh, Freedom oversight by the Patriots' AIs. It all makes sense now. That's why they made Arsenal go berserk five years ago. GW was on board. Don't worry. Mei Ling is using the position of the Mark II's last transmission to predict the course of Liquid Ship. It's only a matter of time before we find him. Man, Snake doesn't sound good. Campbell, the old dog. The U.S. military systems are all in Liquid's hands now. The regional systems have all been shut down. Guns are falling silent across the earth. It's the first total ceasefire in human history. How's the White House responding? The public. The president has yet to make an official announcement. But the media is starting to pick up on it. The information's gonna be controlled anyway. Not this time. The war economy is ground to a complete halt. It's tough to play down a crisis of these proportions. War economy related stocks are already going into a free fall. Sleep soundly while she still can. Liquid's insurrection is about to begin. The first thing he'll do is try to destroy the system the Patriots built to control the U.S. He's already taken the system. No. Supreme authority still resides with JD, which the Patriots still command. Which is why Enough fun. Liquid plans to launch a nuclear strike on JD in its orbit. But Liquid only controls SOP, and SOP only controls guns and small firearms. Unless he gains supreme authority, Liquid can't use America's nukes and ballistic missiles. So how's he gonna launch this strike? <laughs> Good question. The U.S. converted its nuclear arsenal to reliable replacement warheads two years ago. RRWs. Yes. The core of the RRWs is now completely ID controlled by the SOP system. 
You'd need supreme authority from JD itself to control them. And okay. Shut down remotely in case of an emergency. All the old nukes were pulled out of service when they deployed the replacements. Rex. What? Rex was scrapped before the Sons of the Patriot system was implemented. Of course. Railgarden. Indeed. Rex's railgun can launch a stealth nuclear warhead into space unconstrained by the system. In short, it's the only device they have. That is able to launch a nuke. Liquid's going to use it to kill JD and deliver the coup de grace to the Patriots' reign. Campbell, where's Rex now? I think you know. A long forgotten base in U.S. territory outside the Patriots' control. The place where Liquid made his debut. His monument. Off the Shadow Moses. In the Fox Archipelago. Shadow Moses Island. <coughs> if Liquid destroys JD and his GW assumes total control over the system, he'll have the world at his fingertips. And no one will be able to stop him. Not even the Patriots. You are the only ones who can save us now. Snake, I'm counting on you. Defeat Liquid and put an end to his insurrection. There's one big issue. Oh boy, I think this is the super cutscene because we watched yesterday already a few minutes and this is non-stop. This is like never ending this whole video sequence. Holy shit. 40 minutes in, jeez. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Things can't get any worse. Face it, Snake. We've lost. <coughs> we never stood a chance. <laughs> it's not about winning or losing. I know we started this. Snake. He's not ready yet. Snake. I'll be fine.
us as well. I'm a shadow. One that no light will shine on. As long as you follow me, you'll never see the day. That's not what I meant. I've got nothing to lose. Uh, don't be an idiot. We know you've got someone to protect. <laughs> it was never going to work out for me. It even rained the day I was born. You've got it all wrong. You were the lightning in that rain. Can still shine through the darkness. The lightning. Right. Look at me. Oh boy. This is really endless. This is really, uh, this is really crazy. <sighs> what? I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He 
is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. Of Arms Tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the so that's why Death said I'd like Act 4, because we're going back to Shadow Moses. He's not wrong. <laughs> it was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nukes should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <clears throat> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. <clears throat> It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move. Since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, uh, yeah. I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. to heaven shall live he who defies heaven shall perish I all right told from my past too. okay wow this was so long holy shit Man, that was such a long ass cutscene. I can't believe it. They really played, I think this was the what, 70 minutes, 60 minutes of cutscenes? Holy fuck. Yesterday I watched a few minutes and now we're nearly at an hour. Shit. This is crazy. I mean, did nobody tell the guy this is too much? Sit an hour through that? Did nobody tell him? I mean, really? I don't get it. Really, it's uh, yeah. Not cool. All right, act four. I don't know, is that the last act? I hope at least they cut down on the cutscenes. Now that we got the biggest clump of, of this, I hope it gets better. Because the game is great. I want to play the game, so let me play the game. Pretty simple. Oh my God, you gotta be serious. What the hell is this? I mean, apart from the fact that it's super awesome. Dude, you're not serious. Are you serious? Oh my god, this is like one of the coolest things ever. Really? This is how it goes? Oh jeez, this is so cool. <laughs> uh, I guess we have to use maybe those. Just like before, I guess. The controls are the same, I think, except maybe it looks a little more responsive. Maybe. Oh, fuck. Uh, I think there's a ration, but it'll be hard to get it without getting spotted. Come on, let's risk it. Ah, not a ro Okay, it's shaft grenade actually. Cool. Uh, maybe. 
Can we get in there without an alarm? I wonder if we can go underneath it like this. Seems like I got better at Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> yeah, we could play that again. Be fun. Oh shit, there is one guy here. What do we do against that guy? There's this entrance up here, I think. But how do we get up even? Is this a ladder? This guy seems to pay attention, so that's a problem. No? Hmm. Why is that guy asleep? Shit. Dude. He's asleep, but the... Actually, maybe it works with the camera. Maybe we can go past. It's very close. I don't think it's possible, is it? We could use a chaff grenade and then choke the guy out, I guess. Can we sneak behind him? I guess we're gonna touch him, right? All right, no, no, uh, no risk. Let's put a chaff grenade. Oh, he's waking up. Disable electronics press. Okay, uh, to pull the pin, release to throw. All right, let's do this. And now we have to pull this one. How long does it take? All right, got it. Cool, kind of dead. Yo! <laughs> All right, if you hold the pin too long, it goes off in your hand. Or if you pull the pin too long, for too long without throwing. I didn't even know that. Well, now I know. Maybe I should uh, put the category to Metal Gear Solid 1. <laughs> People might be confused. Everything all right, Snake? I was having that dream again. <laughs> We're here. That was really cool. That was the coolest part. It was... That was super cool. That was really, really cool. I like that. MG has one snake. I want to see that. Does it also have three polygons only? <laughs> Alright, let's save it here. Oh, but that was... Really, uh, uh, wait, what? Uh, wait, what? Act three end, act three briefing end. Wait, what?
don't know. Twin sons. Is that the finale? Four acts? Unmanned sentries. Okay. The heliport is to the west of there. Head west and find that heliport. What is that? Ammo and ammo. Okay, and here is ammo and ammo. Also full. And there is something else. There's also something here. Again, ammo. Okay, this we can take. Nice. Now, what was here? I saw like an enemy or something. How does this shit look in, uh... Oof. Pretty tough. Shit, what is that? Okay, we're full. Ah, uh, it's one of those things. So, uh, should we blow? Should we blow the thing uh, up? I think so. Or... Let's blow it up! Let's see, what does Drebin have? Anything new for us? PMM. G1. PMM. That's a PPK, no? Isn't that a Volta PPK? Russian? Hmm. That seems to be a Glock. Theater mode looks dumb now. Hey, Dev. I just made it. I made it through like one hour of cutscene. <laughs> it was not easy. All right. Your submachine gun. Oh, the MP5 SD2. Classic. The Fell. They really put so many weapons in the game. AN-94, and they are all original. They really exist. It's pretty cool. The HK-21. They all exist. It's funny. Because in the end, you don't use them. Right? <laughs> Alright. Um, what is this? C4. Yeah, this is quite important. Alright. What's up, Dev? How are you doing? You fully recovered, feeling well? So let's try our one of our new toys or well, newer toys. Which one is better? Oh man, the RPG is much better. 
Ne? As damage. I like that. Eh, with 10 shots, let's use it. Let's give it a try. Just get home and starting homework. Oh, sorry to hear that. Alright, let's blow that thing up. What is that? How do you have to get up or? Yeah, you have to. Wait a minute. What is the red thing? Is that like where you have to where you should hit it? Maybe that's where you should hit it. Let's wait until it stops. Wait, don't we have face camo again? Ah, it's again deactivated. Let's let's check out the new one. Was that young snake? With bandana, wow. Okay. Oh <laughs> What the fuck is this? MGS1 snake, wow, that looks uh, great, really. <laughs> yeah, that's great, really, fantastic, wow. Okay, who's that? Oh. All right. Looks a little dead to me, but okay. And right. Right on! Okay. Let's say we use regular face camo. Love this section. Man, you missed it. When you wrote, uh, I would love it. Did you re specifically refer to the first part where you're playing actually MGS1? Because that was absolutely awesome and i love that <laughs> it was so cool you know when you're in the helicopter he falls asleep and then you play mgs1 for like five minutes both that and this section all day welcome hello and thank you so much for the sub man let's fucking go ender yeah let's go man thank you thank you thank you five months already wow thanks a lot much appreciated Thank you. So both that and this section, so the next section is also going to be good. I'm afraid it will not be as good as the previous section. That doesn't have really any effect, or does it? I don't know. Wait, uh... We have to hit it again or what? I guess so. But it's still there, really? Yes! Alright. We blew that thing up. Cool. And don't forget, guys, this is a stealth game. <laughs> This is a stealth game. Let's get the RPG-7 out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. What do we have here? Oh, rats. Cool. Oh, noodles. A regain and more ammo that we don't need. Cool. By the way, headed to another volleyball match one more Friday. Is a Mario Party Mar card stream possible on Thursday? That sounds like a very, very smart and uh, good idea, yeah. I think yes. So, Mario Party, you mean uh, one of the old ones from the Nintendo expansion pack or... Uh, a uh, new one because I don't have anyone. I don't have any, so I would have only the ones from the from this expansion pack. Wait, where did I blow that thing up? Did I actually? Uh, did you? Do you get something if you blow that thing up? Like, does it drop anything? Ah, okay, we're back to the stun to the beginning. All right. Uh, so we blew it up here in the back. It was around here, I think. No, nothing? 
just explodes. Okay. You have card though, yes, 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 I have Mario Kart 8 and I have uh, the DLC. If you have the expansion pack, you don't need to buy the DLC because the DLC is included as long as you have the expansion pack. Or you can also play along the tracks if like I select them and we are in a, in a group, then you can also of course play them. So uh, not everybody needs them. Oh wow, this is this is the helipad from from MGS One. Oh my god, that's so cool. That's really super cool. That's what I was thinking, anyways. I don't know if the other guys have eight. Uh, Dev, do you still have eight in online? I don't know if you already had the homework. This is so cool. This is so cool, man. I love that. Hey, all day, maybe we'll maybe we'll meet a flashback of Gray Fox. Who knows? <laughs> I should end. Yeah, I started. Okay. You know what? I'll I'll write later a message to Colwood on Twitch. Maybe we can make it work on Thursday. It would be so cool. Is that? Oh shit. W Wolf? Do I have to shoot them? I mean, from here we could take them out with a sniper, it would be easy. Oh, oh man, this is where I just was in. Can you, can you squeeze through there? You must somehow, no? No? Hmm. Weird. What year does this game take place? Uh Good question. Um... They said it plays nine years after Shadow Moses, so it plays nine years after Metal Gear Solid 1, and Metal Gear Solid 1 plays... 2004 or so? So maybe 2011? I would say roughly, yes, yeah, maybe. Uh, what? How do we get this ration? Hmm... Oh yeah, RPG six. Let's go. Can never have another those. And for grenade launcher, cool. We'll take it. Oh, this is how we get in there. Got it. I know Gray Fox death year. Oh yeah. Well, he kind of died several times, but then, <clears throat> yeah, he really died for good. He kind of already died in Metal Gear Solid 1, even though it was not even uh, inside the game. It was after that, seemingly, they bombed the facility and then he kind of died. And then after that, he get, he died really in Metal Gear Solid 2, and uh, in Metal Gear 2, excuse me. And that we know because we killed him. <laughs> but then, of course, they reconstructed him with the nanomachines into that, uh, into that ninja. Distant year of 2014. Ah, okay. It's when MGS4 takes place. All right. Dev, it's no commitment. But what do you think uh, about uh, Mario Kart on Thursday? Would it be something you'd be interested in? Again, you don't have to commit, you know. If you don't have time, you don't have time also. Suddenly, no problem. 
We can set a different year. Uh-oh. -uh. Death, what's going on? <laughs> what is happening? Our MGS master must know. <laughs> Yeah, so I see a million enemies. Maybe it's not the best idea. Or what is this? Is this a weapon? This is a weapon. MK23. Isn't that the weapon you use in Metal Gear Solid 1? I doubt that. I feel like that's the weapon from Metal Gear Solid 1, which would be super cool, or... Ah, no, wait. In Metal Gear Solid, you use the SOCOM, right? So it's not the same. Maybe we have to change our weapons to non-lethal if we're fighting robots. But how the hell do you get that brashen? Like, am I stupid or what? You cannot go that high, usually. I don't get it. All right. Ah, uh, maybe from the top. Anyways, let's go to the top. Maybe there's an easier entrance. This uh, main entrance looks like uh, looks like complete suicide. My friend Mana only has eight, not eight deluxe. That's correct. Yes, yes. Not sure about tomorrow. Depends if I finish. Oh, tomorrow is already Thursday. I didn't even think about it. Wow, this week passed fast. Yeah. Do I hear ravens? That's cool. Okay, we found a lot of shit, which is cool. Yeah, this is how you get over there, right? Okay. Um, oh no, you have to go over there. Oh, fuck this. Not interested. Let's go in at the, at the top floor. Ray Fox should be dead like 2005. Yeah, 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 true. It's cool that they still refer to the uh, events of Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2. So it was really worth playing these old games. It's cool. I mean, from story, story wise, Metal Gear 1 and 2 are pretty cool. Not that they're like phenomenal or something, but it's cool. Well, I know a lot that can help you. For example, don't play longer than one hour, take regular breaks, and uh, don't play right away after you had a whole meal. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> that guy was weird. What's going on? Ah, batteries are out. Okay, I get it. I would really say Metal Gear Solid 4 is an amazing game and plays super well. I really wish they would have cut down on the on the videos because it's just too much. Like if you if you see the last sequence that we watched, the whole sequence of I don't know five six cutscenes, there are really things that they're kind of neat, but they're really not necessary. And did you cut out, for example, the part where? Um, Raiden gets up and then can't do anything and falls over and then they put him bed to bed, uh, back to bed like It's like five minutes of videos for basically nothing Okay, cool. They should have really tried to uh, cut a little down on those It's trying to explain literally every plot hole from all the guys. Oh, really? Okay. I haven't even thought about that. Okay. Mm, that doesn't look very comfy here. 
I mean, can we snipe one of them or will it instantly... Oh shit, they're even up there? Fuck. Uh, okay, we need, a, we need a gun here and a real gun. And something with a silencer. What do we have nice here? It's why 5 has like no cutscenes. Honestly, how do I put this? How do I put this? I feel like the guy is overcompensating and doesn't understand. No offense, games are cool, no question. But if you see one, MGS1 has a lot of coder calls and has a lot of story details. Then two has also a lot of videos and a shit ton of coder calls and all these these extra things like, uh, you know, um, Volleyball. All right, man. Have fun on the game. Hope uh, hope it's gonna be a victory. So then, in two, you have these coded calls and you have these useless de details. Is too much. Not the opposite. These useless, redundant crap. Like uh, you know, when Rose talks for a millionth time about what is next week for a day on this this stuff. This is really useless and should have been cut from the game. Anyway, my point is. There's a billion codec calls in two, then you play three, there's no codec call. Three has basically none of those long codec calls. They cut it out completely. And there's also not so many videos. I mean, there's, no, there's a lot of videos, but they're rather short. Metal Gear Solid 3 doesn't have many interruptions of the gameplay. It's going pretty fast paced. And then there's Metal Gear Solid 4, and then they change it again completely. There's like no codec calls. But there's endless videos, so it's like, you know, short, long, short, it's like they change the formula for every game. It feels like they don't know what is the right way to do it, and so they keep alternating. Now when you say MGS5 has again changed the formula, and basically all of this is out, you know, it's like they're changing it completely, they must be really unsure about, about all of this. It's interesting. Because it's not like we're at the first or second game, they have like a whole franchise already. So many games and they're still not clear, not sure exactly how to do it. All right. Um, question is now, can we, can we equip a silencer to all of them? Muscle point, I guess that's where the silencer goes or the suppressor. All right, I would like to have something that has a lot of oomph and doesn't shoot so fast, but shoots far. So classically, the G3 would be great. We have the G3, right? Wait, there's something locked. Nope. Unlock. All right. Let's go back. Um, let's see. Yeah, the G3, I would say classical because he shoots high caliber ammunition. Yep. Uh, 540 is pretty nice. 250 is also nice. Ah, okay, this also shoots high caliber ammo, also pretty nice, but doesn't shoot as far and as strong, so the G3 is better. Yeah, this is all lower. Theoretically, the damage should be about the caliber, so if you have a higher caliber, it does more damage at the end. Yeah, well, it's actually kind of accurate. I think it does it correctly. That's cool. Okay, can we put a suppressor on this weapon? Whoops. That would be nice. No? Oh, come on. That would have been so nice. Okay, you cannot put a suppressor on this one. How about on this one? Yeah, you can. No, you cannot. Can you? Bottom mount, top mount. No, you cannot. That sucks. So you cannot put a suppressor on a 7.62. It's a little disappointing. Can we buy a better 7.62? Uh, rifles? Uh, yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> we could use a sniper on the other hand, but can we put suppressors on snipers? We have to check that also. Um, can we see here? Wait, why is this rifle so cheap? This is super cheap, right? Let's buy it. 
costs like nothing. We can buy it and we can check it out. Let's buy those. Other firearms. General purpose machine gun, machine gun. For special ops. Okay. All right, let's go back to our cool weapons menu. So now we have the AN-94 and we bought the Fell. Customize. No. And the Fell maybe? Oh no, the Fell's not taking anything at all. All right, that means those weapons don't have, kind of have a suppressor. Let's go for their sniper. Uh, the D is R1 maybe? No. Ah, we can see here already which is customizable. This one is customizable. That looks good. Muzzle mount. All right, we found it. This one can be silenced, which is of course great. Oh, we have to buy it. It's 160. Well, no problem. All right, cool. Nice. What else do we have? Laser sight. Makes hatchets easier, increases lock on range for weapons with auto aim. Long gun light, no thank you. We could put this the laser side, depending on how much you could. 24,000, no thank you. All right, I think we got our weapon. This is our new silenced weapon. Uh, should be good. Let's equip a short range weapon with oomph and a nice magazine for safety reasons. Maybe this one. Sorry, it takes a minute, but uh, this is a completely new situation and I want to be ready. Ah, maybe the M60, come on, it's a good weapon. And we have a ton of ammo, so let's use this one. All right. All right, let's uh, say let's save the game. We have properly configured all the weapons and then we can uh, we can try out our new sniper. I hope it's gonna be good. All right, there we are. Let's try the sniper. I wonder if they realize if we shoot one. But they don't see me, right? Caution? Okay, but they haven't spotted me, no? Oh my god, how many of those are there? Oh, what? The suppressor is down? Shit, that was... Uh, that was pretty quick, wow. Well, my plan didn't work because Suppressor was killed so fast. That sucked. So, we need a regular weapon with a Suppressor, not this one. This... Okay, I have a top mount. Uh, okay, a dot side. Alright, we need a regular weapon. Weapon. That's a 5.56. Uh, we have only two. I prefer this one. And I think we can actually customize this one as well. 
Yes, we can. Take a suppressor. Ooh. Can take a dot side. Oh my god, this shit is so expensive. Why do they make this so expensive? Okay, a grip is nice. Laser side. All right, let's try it out. Did it just did just new enemies spawn in? Let's see how the weapon shoots. I wanna try it out. Shoots pretty well. Yeah, this is a problem. How do we do that? Is this thing... Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Fuck, there's like a billion of those things. Shit. I mean, do they know that I'm here because... Oh no, wrong button. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, I have a feeling we have... I know, I have to use. Right. Can you fucking throw the grenade or what is your problem? How many times do I have to press it? Okay, I guess they should be all deactivated now. Uh, this is not gonna work well, I think. I think I'm too slow for that. Oh my god, there's so many! Dude. Sure. Okay. Cool. Okay. Dev, you exaggerated. This section sucks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan. What do we have here? Suppressor, okay, cool. Can we go to the other levels? I guess not, that would be so cool now. Okay, we have to go straight, all right. Wait, there are mines. No mines there, are there? Oh, what the hell is that? Alright, we better be careful. I guess if we trigger the alarm, these things will wake up, or do they wake up anyways? I guess they're those big walkers. Yeah, maybe not. It's alive. Look out. Run, snake. Oh, 
Why does this thing know from the start where I am? Okay. Cool. What is that? Grenade? What? Ammo? Ah, uh, 40 millimeter grenade, okay. For the underbarrel uh, grenade launcher. Got it, alright. Zone of the Enders too, nice. Nuclear warhead storage. This goes a lot faster than an MGS-1. <laughs> well, all the doors are open anyway. Okay. Um, I remember up here is a small window where you can look down what's below us. And we could take a ration. If we're already full, why not? Let's use it. What? Well, no more, no more arm balls. Wait a second, are we following somebody? Is that liquid? They're footsteps. I don't see any enemies around here. Okay, we'll go through the door all the way at the back. Otacon, last time around we had a few complications and wound up going through the commander's office in the basement. That's right, I remember now. But there's no need to go all the way down there this time, right? The back door takes us straight where we need to go. Good point. Okay then, let's get to the back door. Should we go down? We can try. I mean, it sounds like, I mean, they're pointing it out that you could go down. So the question is, if we shall go down. Could be, I don't know, secret, Easter egg. Extra weapon, whatever. Don't see any enemies here, it's kind of too quiet. Yeah, I think you can go down there, right? Hmm. Uh-uh. Is he complaining? <laughs> the elevator's not working. Hmm. The panel lights are dead too. Looks like the power's out. Still, there's no need to take the elevator, is there? Hurry up and head to the gate at the north end of the building. Hmm. Cool. So we can't even go. All right. But then the power also should be here out, no? Snake, that door is locked. How do I open it? Security is shut down altogether. You can't release the lock without activating it. You'll have to log in somewhere. I've got it, Snake. My old office is close by. With the power on, you should be able to unlock the door from there. And if you check the facility records, we can find out Rex's status and who's been in and out. You remember where it is, Snake? 
Uh, have you not seen that all yet? Just to be safe, I'm marking it on your map. You old geezer. <laughs> Snake, the password is 48273. Think you can remember that? I told you, I'm not senile. Yet. <laughs> Engage the generator. Energy output is low, but it should be enough to power the elevator. Try the elevator and see if it's working. Hey, Mana and Mighty Monster. Hey, guys. Thanks for the rain, Mana. What's up? You play more uh, Super Paper Mario? Good to have you guys on board. Uh, we're in one. Yep, yo yo, we get. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I have currently a little bit of more busy time with the job and some paperwork around here, so the day flies by a little faster. But you know, I can't complain. Healthy, happy, okay. all good. And for you. Weird. Wow, this looks like a graveyard here. Pretty cool. Stream crashed for some reason, but I'm glad I was able to get in a raid. Oh, sorry about that. That's a big bug. Autocon keeps making this, but he doesn't have glasses anymore, right? You're right. The wiring past the switch circuits could still be live. Wait a minute. I'm not gonna get shocked if I walk on this floor, am I? No need to worry. As long as you don't turn the current back on. But I think we have to turn the current back on, wasn't that the idea? All right, what's this? Hey, music. Cool. Wait, what? 20 gear, 20 years of Metal Gear music? All right. By the way, Mana, I set to the 60 minutes of videos today. I mean, mostly today, because I think yesterday I watched 10 minutes. Then I saved and ended the stream. And today I think it was the other 50. Oh boy, this game plays really, really well. Um, if they would have just cut down on the videos, it would be such a fantastic game. But the videos are just too much. Why am I so wasted? Do I have to relax or what? Relax a little bit. Yeah, there are lots. I just used to skip most. I understand. Um, I mean, some of them are even extremely well made. For example, the scene when Liquid is on the boat and he's finally showing that he has uh, control over the guns of the Patriots. You know, when all the military surround him, it's a super great one, but. Others are also just overly long and redundant, like in some of the mission briefings when you're sitting in this room. I just talk too much and it's not all relevant, so... But it plays really well, this game. I don't remember most of the parts of the game, I just remember something at the end, which was cool. A very cool fight, but I won't say more. I think most of the fights were cool so far in this game. I really have... I think I have no complaints about them, really. They play really well. Hold on. I want to check security. 
Also earlier, when you're flying to Shadow Moses, Snake is falling asleep in the helicopter and then you play Metal Gear Solid 1, the heliport. You know, in Metal Gear Solid 1 graphics, that was so cool. <laughs> I enjoyed it so much. Yes, four eight two seven three. Yay. Two interest streams? Wait, what? What's happening? <laughs> what do you mean? Hmm? Mana rated you and I was in his stream as well. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, now it says uh, Raider. Raiders of the Lost Stream! This is the room where we first met, huh? Yeah, this is the room where you peed your pants, buddy. I didn't forget about that. <laughs> That's what Snake should say. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, there we have it. The first flashback was the pants. <laughs> Enjoying this act? Very much so, yes. Ray Fox! But it's actually she who did it, no? Now that I'm thinking about it, the story makes no sense. Naomi created the nano machines. No? I want to play some magic after I finish the chapter, but stream crashed. Hmm. Sorry about that. Bamp and Naomi. Naomi. 
But again, thinking about it, if she created the nano machines, then she created also f Gray Fox. I mean, the ninja version. Okay, that was a cool cutscene. I'm not complaining about all of them. There's a police notes poster. <laughs> no, I'm not. I always work alone. And a Playboy. Uh huh. Probably from Otacon. I guess we can eat something to recover, or because we have, I think, a lot of food. No. All right, then. Uh, okay, now the question is still remains. Is the floor now electrified or not? Gecko! We've got Gecko! Why is it coming for me? No, he doesn't know. Good. Snake, it's blocking the hallway leading to the elevator. You'll have to do something before you can get to the first floor. Yeah, I'm way ahead of you. Problem solved. Claymore, all right. So we could destroy it. I think we have a fair chance, but you know, we just wait until it turns away and then we shoot its back and we repeat it a few times. But I feel like there is no real use of destroying it. There's no real benefit. this stays open why is this still can we reactivate the controls and grill this thing that would be so cool can we do that there's no button I don't know if we can do it if we would switch this on I guess it the electrified floors should come back and this thing should be grilled. Ah, never mind, we just go. Problem solved. Ah, 
Okay, enough floor humping. I remember you being able to turn the floor back on. Oh, okay. I was going there, but uh, there was like no button flashing up. I don't know how it works. When you go into night vision view, the whole drawer is lit up in white, which means that something is where is happening there usually, you know, like uh, if you go like this, you know, it was a white object, which means you can interact with it usually or pick it up or something. But I don't know how. So yeah, I guess it's possible, but don't know how. Ah, maybe with that thing, huh? Maybe we could have used that thing to do it. Oh man, that would have been even cooler if you drive around with that thing and then interact and then you go back. Yeah. Next playthrough. <laughs> I do want to play those games again at some point. Because I, yeah, I feel like... Oh shit. I, is that because I didn't kill it? Oh man, more gecko. The Mark III is totally defenseless while working on the door. You'll have to distract the gecko so they don't spot it. What are you talking about? Distract? How the fuck do I distract it? Shit. All right, no distraction here. I have a better idea. Give me the RPG. There we go. Oh shit, this thing is fast. Fuck. I think it was a little, what? How am I not hitting anything? What? It can, uh, can, it can, like, I don't know, it can change the way the bullets, uh, the, the rockets fly or something? Is it a defense system? Yeah, fuck you. Now it's gonna kill it. See, the rocket is flying vertically up. I don't know what the fuck this is supposed to be. The the rocket goes and then flies in the ceiling. I mean, what the fuck? Melee it? It's possible? Are you sure? Last time we got our ass handed to it, it makes like this circular kick and it takes like more than 50% CQC throw. <laughs> Yeah, we could use a chaff grenade, but we have only one, so uh, let's see what else we have. We have a law, I don't know if a law works, or the MGL. We have 35 shots, let's go. Hey, that works. Oh. Maybe you should put some armor on that thing. And none of this would have happened. All right, let's try the grenade. The grenade launcher seemed effective in some way. Uh, yo, and let's take also this one. Maybe when it's on the on the floor, maybe they can hit it with the Rib MK3. Okay, I think this is our chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Are we so low? I didn't know. I have to pay more attention. I thought we were like at decent health. We arrived here without any damage. Yeah, we had full health. Weird. Okay. Okay, however, the strategy I think is working fine. I don't see a problem. MG to get it down and then RPG to finish it. It does a lot of damage, all right. Well, we haven't, this is the first game we haven't found, uh, how is it called? The armor or, or uh... yeah, we haven't found the armor yet. This is the first game we didn't find it. I don't know if it exists here. Oh man, the frequency of this thing is awesome. All right, now it's time. Oh no, don't reload it. Is it down? Oh, it's pretty much down. That should be the end, or? Yeah. Easy! <laughs> Look on the right, I didn't even see it. There's a two minute bar that you have to survive. Well. <laughs> Snake is all and kind of tra uh, kind of frail. Ah, uh, well. So was that thing. <laughs> Secret? I think I should have found that before we fight that thing, no? I don't know. It's a surface to air. Maybe it doesn't even work against that one. Well, another weapon that we found. Cool. All right, let's return to our regular combination. Ah, well, yeah, let's get rid of those. I don't think we need really the, the regular weapons currently. Let's use this one and... I don't know. Yeah, okay. Do you have to Do I have to pick it up? No? <laughs> well, that's probably another gecko that we have to fight eventually. We'll get tried out then. Just a sec. Okay. I have to think, where the hell are we even? Is that, ah, oh, is this the radar towers or, okay. Ah, uh, we have that already. Um... Okay, we already had that. What is that? Oh, nice. Is that when we battled Sniper Wolf? The first time, or? Oh, behind us, huh? Yep. Wait, what? Crying wolf? You. 
Sniper battle. Oh. Oh yeah. That's supposed to be a railgun? Yeah, I guess. Oh, wow, cool. <laughs> Sam is using a railgun? Wow. Wait, what? Thought it's a sniper battle. What are those guys doing there? Stun grenade, what is this? Sleep gas with remote trigger, whatever. Sleep gas mine, I don't know. That's all right, this should do it. It is, just the frogs are engaging you in separate regular battle, okay. I hope they don't respawn. Oh, this is going well. Oh shit. Oh, that was the boss, right? Something's coming. Oh, you're not getting away from me. This is difficult to navigate, really. Oh, there we are. No.
Oh shit. What exactly hit me? <laughs> uh, okay. That was a nice shot. Stealth 100. It is just okay. Dude, that sounds like I have a problem. Okay. Seems like they're respawning, huh? Where is that thing? Eventually we're gonna run out of... Uh out of battery, that will be a problem. Ah, there we go. Where was it? I saw it, no? What kind of weapons do they have anyways? No weapons? Come on. Claymore. still in the same position probably didn't see us which is exactly what we want shit back up or what happened shit I think it just moved where got him where's the fucking no, it's not the boss, is it? No, it's a regular enemy. Shit. Huh? Ah, oh, okay, got him. Right. <laughs> Where's the enemy, though? Is... I think I saw something, yeah? I think I saw you too. What? Ding? Alright, where's the boss? Boss kind of disappeared. Oh, okay. No, that's a door. Or is it? Let's see what we find here. This is a stun grenade, okay.
Shouldn't it be here? Or what? Maybe not. I think boss is around where you use the CQC throw. Really? I didn't see anything there. I was I would more expect it's in front where I started kind of. Ah crap. It's annoying that they wake up. I mean I know. I'm choosing this difficulty with just stunning them with tranquilizers, but still. Maybe I should go up? We could. Somebody shooting? Fuck, was that a hit? Yeah, it was a hit. Oh, there it is. Shit. I think I got spotted. No? Yeah, I did. Oh, can you see the head in the bag or what is this? Shit. I used CQC. It didn't work. <laughs> All right, I don't know what we use. Uh, I guess some kind of grenade, maybe a chaff grenade or something, maybe. Let's use a uh, ration. I should use a new battery. Uh, oh, we don't really need a new battery like this. Or just when it's over. There we go. Wait, where's the head? Okay, nice. I didn't see where the head is. Ah, that's the head. Okay, only one more. Or maybe two more. Reminds me a little bit of the fight against Fortune. Also using a railgun and all the uh, objects around you explode. I think there was a ladder here that we can use. Oh no. Shit, somebody's waking up. And time for more sleep, no? Okay. What? Ah, in the back here, I see it, okay. Fuck. Shit, they're all coming back. How did she shoot through the enemy? Well, she ran through the enemy at least. Sorry this is taking so long in the end, but without the battery it's really annoying. Can't we just use one of these backup batteries? How does it work? I know I found them. It says four. 
Here, four, no, three. So we used one or what? Hmm, I'm not sure. Oh, come on. All right. You wanted it that way. Once you stop it switches, okay, but then why it's, it's strange that it still makes this fuzzy screen because if you have a backup or do we just, you know, pop in another one and everything is fine. Guess it should be a little easier from up here or... Oh, cool, ammo. All right. Nothing to see from up here so far. I think it's behind here somewhere. Ah, there's another building. Oh, no. Wait, is that it? That's it, or? No. But we can still take care of that. Hmm. We have to go down. It's not a good idea. I thought there's only one tower and you can see the whole environment. Ah, it's moving. Well, then we have a chance. Wait, what is happening? Why did I see that? What is happening? I don't understand. How can it hit me up here? We're out of... Uh... Now, what do we have to do? We're out of stamina. It's launching grenades. Ah, great. <laughs> okay. Um... Wait, what do we need? Regain? Is it this one? From those lit up tubes on behind the stacks. Ah, so probably we can also deactivate them by shooting them, huh? I guess this is the one we have to use. Um, yeah, we never used the drum anyway. Probably a big mistake, but it is what it is. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, much better. Yeah, this was a disaster going up here. That was totally nothing. Didn't do any good. Oh, it's... No, that's great. All the regular enemies woke up. Man, can you not interrupt the reload? What the fuck? I clicked two times. I think it's... Let's go down. It's kind of too far away. Can we not just steal all their weapons and eventually they cannot shoot anymore? <laughs> I would like that. Oh. Shit.
I'll just use the next battery now. I honestly just want to end this. Uh, this is going on for way too long. Oh shit. I don't know why sometimes it's visible and sometimes it's not visible or not. What the fuck? Ah, there. What the fuck? How did this stand up again? It seems like I can't stun them anymore. I know, I'm shooting them from super close range and nothing happens. Ah, oh, now it works. Oh, there's more than them. Okay. Railgun wakes them up. Ah, oh, fuck. Now we're also on alarm. Maybe we can sneak onto the other side. Yeah, there's too many awake. At the beginning, I really I switched off most of them, and the good thing was that nobody spotted me anymore. That was really helpful, because then I was really on my own. There was no risk. Yeah, okay, now we got a lot of them. Maybe that helps. There was another one. Oh, here. But I think we should be already close to... What is this? Ah, uh, this is ammo. I think we should be close to... Uh-huh. Is that the asshole? <laughs> I guess those are the grenade tubes. And then where's the face? Alright. There it is. All right. You know what? This is getting too stressful. Let's take a pendazamine. All right. That's much better. Oh, wait. And back. And. Where's the fucking face? Come on. Show me. It's very annoying. Come on. It's not open, is it? It's closed. That's why I can't see it. Ah, now here it is. Ah, fuck. Looking in the wrong direction. Come on, turn around. Yes, nice. Yes! Well, that took long, but it was fun. It was also a fun fight. Good luck finding the statue. <laughs> <laughs>
By the way, this is happening the same way if uh, you're doing it lethally or non-lethally, or they still fall out and you have the second phase of the fight, or is this only because I'm using anesthetics? Wait, the first one I shot with regular rounds. No, the first one I also shot with anesthetic, but I didn't know that you have to find the stupid statue. Can you repeat that, please? Um, are they now we have phase two? Is this always happening, or only if you use non-lethal rounds? That was my question, because I always used non-lethal rounds. Always happens. Okay, okay. Let's get the shotgun ready. <laughs> I was so scared. All right, let's go. I'm so short before skipping this. I mean, <laughs> I want to play the game. This is really uh, just too long. Let's go. Also, Snake just standing there with a gun for like two minutes is like <laughs> just laughable. Like, what is this? <laughs> Okay. So I think um, in the first fight I was really not able to shoot them at all. While in the second fight it worked pretty well. If I understood the mechanic well, the idea is that they don't see you. So it's good if you can either hide behind a tree or something, so they're not aware. And then you like snipe them from the side, like this. That was already a good hit. As soon as they are not aware of you anymore, due to the distance or something. Okay, let's get a little distance to that. Don't forget the statue. Oh, fuck. I completely forgot about the statue. You're right. Uh, let's go here. Oh, there it is. Ha! Easy! <laughs> Easy! All right. It's basically at the spawn, right? Wow, she's fast. I have to get a little distance in between us. Okay, this will be good. All right. Perfect. This can be used also very well. This will also go really well. Man, we're really done. Okay. Easy! Yeah, I really, I really understood how it works. It's always the same in, in Metal Gear Solid games. Find out the mechanic and it's fun and not difficult at all. But if you're unaware about the mechanic, it's hell. 
Man, the guy likes showing uh, like full screen boobs and booties, no? It's like <laughs> in every game and, oh, well, not in the first, I guess. I guess it took a while for him to get to this stage, but then it's like everywhere. Okay. Ah, it's Draven again, huh? Yeah. Finish laundering that real gun you picked up just now. Knock yourself out. It's on the house. Thanks. Time for another bedtime story. So <sighs> this one's about crying wolf. You don't need me to tell you there's whole nations in Africa tearing themselves apart in the name of ethnic cleansing. Well. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's a little unusual. A village was also because it's a it's a little, um, <laughs> I mean, literally, in your face. It could be a little, uh, a little more subtle, but it's very obvious, I think. I feel like if anything was skippable, it would be these sections. You're talking about gameplay or cutscenes? Cutscenes slash codex is for me the same, by the way. I take it as one category. It's like non it's like gameplay and non gameplay. Horrified she pulled her hand away, covered in sweat and spit. He wasn't breathing. They say wolves eat their own pups when they die. She was spotted wandering through the thick of battle, carrying her dead brother in her arms. She had visions too. A wolf walking alongside her. Every night the wolf would howl and cry, just like her brother did that day. Eventually, Cutscene. Like, if you want to skip these, there's no story punishment. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Really, this is, I think, you're gonna see. I mean, it's always possible that somehow in the end there's like an arc and it comes back to the story. But uh, yeah, this is like, if you have to make a lore about every like shoelace, then you can also do that, but it's really not necessary. A weapon that uses electromagnetic induction to accelerate projectiles to ultrasonic speed speeds. Ultrasonic speeds is kind of a stupid term. Because you can also launch a regular weapon is also shooting faster than the speed of sound, right? Anyway, all the one weapon, press R1 while charging to fire. And charge the weapon. There are three levels of charge. The longer the weapon is charged, the greater the muscle velocity of the projectile. Press triangle button while aiming to use optical sight. Press the up and down button to adjust the magnification. Okay, sounds like a fun weapon. Um, oh yeah, uh, also question for the, for the experts here, mainly Dev, uh, <laughs> if you don't mind. Um, not if it's a story spoiler, but why do you get the face camos of those of those women? I have now three. I haven't used one. Is that like any use or or what is this for? I also got the face camo of Raiden and uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe at the end. Bullets travel around Mac one. The speed of a sound. Bullets travel at around Mac one. The speed of sound, no, no, no. They use no reason. For a pistol, maybe, yes. For a rifle, it's faster. They go faster than that. I mean, it also depends, of course, on the distance of the gun. When, you, when it leaves the muzzle, it's the fastest. 
but it's faster than the speed of light. Eh, of, of light, <laughs> of sound. You can have up to, what, what, 600? Yeah, it's 900, 900 meters per second, yeah. That's nice. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, you know, it's like, it sounds like the railgun goes faster, the railgun could go faster, of course, depending on how strong the magnetic field is, but, you know, that's just like nothing. But a thousand is already is already pretty strong, yeah. Regain. Ah, cool. This is the area of the of the Rex base, no? Where Rex was stated. <laughs> really? No. By the way, did we find anything? What is this guy doing there? Hey, he likes me. Cool. Hmm. All right, let's go. Memory races. Ah, from the army. Nice. Now I get it. I wonder if I should have used more the drum or the box, but honestly, I feel like the 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 camo is so good in this game that for me it's like the best. Also, the areas are usually more open, so it's not like you get easily uh, cornered in an area. Oh no, are there the stupid balls again? Please, no stupid balls. Yeah, I can see them already. Shit. Ugh. Yeah, maybe now I have to use the box, huh? Or the drum. I don't know what's better here. What is this stuff down there? Ammo. Alright. Wait, can we take the shortcut through here? Last time this was very effective. Uh... Eh, it's a little far, maybe. Maybe the other side. Eh, this could be something. Wish we had more chaff grenades. They would be really useful here. Yeah. Does Drabin sell anything good against, like, those robots? That is silent. Mm -hmm. We do have suppressors, though. Doesn't seem that way. Uh, 
Um, now, what did we use earlier? The combination was not bad. I think it was this combined with a suppressor that is very cheap. Yeah, it's not bad. Or actually, we use the M4, it's even better. Where's the M4? It still has a suppressor, nice, okay. I think we have to wait a minute before uh, something comes before we can go there. Oh my god, there's so many of those. It's a little uh, weird. There's so many. Okay, I hope it wasn't replaced. And it was not replaced. Okay, where? Oh. I think this is the time that we have to strike. Wait, what? It's not opening? Oh shh. Otacon, how do I get this door open? It's not opening? That's weird. I know I disengaged security back at the lab. Fuck this room. Really? I got it. If memory serves, there are casting and rolling facilities directly beneath the furnace. You should be able to pass through them to a drainage duct that leads to the hangar. How do I get there? There should be a special service elevator in the northwest corner of this floor. Northwest corner. Got it. Cool. Well, no, they got me. Northwest corner. Oh fuck. That's a long way from here. And I don't see an easy way up here. Shit. chance if we, the chance that we make it is is very small and I think we're down yeah you know what let's fuck it let's just run through it I don't know what they were thinking with these rooms is this a service elevator? Oh, all right. Then we go here. 
Time to use lethal shotgun. Ah, good idea, yeah. It's a good idea. Uh, cool. Ah, oh, not cool. Forgot about it. Why the fuck is this dot site so expensive? <laughs> I want a shit gun. Ah, uh, no. Sorry. <laughs> um, how exactly? Ah, uh, yeah, we can do it from uh, from the menu, right? Just like that. Uh, no. Light on, light off. Um, okay, there we go. Wow, that was kind of cool. That's really cool. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge. But I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. It's very cool that they brought this back and also that they... No, it's very cool that they brought it back and how they brought it back. I just wish they wouldn't have those rooms with those stupid balls because... Yeah, I don't like them at all. Okay. This will be a challenge. I will try to sneak by, but if it doesn't work, I want to be prepared. Ooh, wait a second. <laughs> Maybe you should try this baby. <laughs> uh, what, is it? what is this? Oh, this thing. Oh, well, that's... Wow! What laundering costs 10,000? Is it worth it? The series should have ended with this game. Hot take, maybe? You mean... You mean no more games after this? Because also this is the kind of last in the timeline, right? So it kind of... The timeline ended kind of with the game. But yeah, it was not the last game. I guess it's worth it, or I mean, it's very expensive. Let's get it. Um, I don't know. We used the grenade launcher that was very effective earlier. Let's try those. I mean, no more games after this. But there was not... Oh, there was a few more. Yeah, true. Let's try that thing. And let's save before we try it. All right, let's save. Man, we haven't saved in a hot minute. Yeah, hot mo uh, Shadow Moses beginning. Honestly, with how good the gameplay of 5 is, no, it shouldn't have. Stealth games needed a game with gameplay that good. Wow, man, you are hyping the gameplay of 5, really, and I like the gameplay of this already, so I'm really curious about 5. We're gonna play it for sure. Alright, let's, tr let's try this, baby. So... How do I see how much it's charged? I guess now it's fully charged, huh? Alright, yeah, level 3. No, don't run away! No, no! Fuck! <laughs> I'm not done here. And I have no clue where I am. Okay, that's better. Oh, this is going to be good. Wait, what? Didn't do so much damage, did it? Oh. 
Oh yeah. Me gusta. <laughs> Um, I expected this. Bar below ammo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. Uh, yeah, it took a while. Go back to your homework. I never left it. Oh. What's your homework about? I mean, was it something, something about economics or what was it? Man, this weapon, by the way, is, is really cool. I hope we can buy ammo for that thing. Because if we continue like that, we'll probably exceed it soon. Stun grenade. All right. Taxes. Oh boy. Accounting. Ooh. Oh yeah. I see you're getting the good stuff. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, that sounds pretty bad. I hope it's not too dry. You know, one guy in my company used to say something funny that's uh, also smart. Um, the other classes homework will take a total of 20 minutes to complete. <laughs> okay. Well, that seems to be the problem. So, he used to, you know, you, you read like all, I don't know, all month or a few months you read about the celebrity that hasn't paid the taxes and then there's a big outcry and maybe going to jail or whatever. Yeah, at least you also have this in Germany now and then. And um, my colleague at work who left the company already he always used to say, dude, I just wish, I really wish I had to pay like one or several million of taxes. I really wish. <laughs> Which was such a cool statement. I wish I would have to pay a million on taxes. <laughs> And I mean, he's got a point. I, I always like that statement. <laughs> right? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> I always, I also wish I would have to pay one million of taxes per year. Sure, why not? <laughs> that would be great. But people who have to pay a million of taxes, they don't agree with you, you know. Okay, we're, oh man, we're pretty low, we have to use that. Okie dokie. There we go. Oh no, these things are back, come on. I wish I don't pay anything in taxes. Dude, but the idea on the of the you know of the message is if you have to pay one million in taxes, it means you also earn a shit ton of money because otherwise you don't have to pay a million on taxes. That was the idea. The people who have to pay so much, they also earn a lot. Here's a question: Does your government report how much you owe to the? Wait. Here's a question: Does your government report how much? you owe to you how much you owe to them or i know i know the joke is that we don't pay anything in taxes here really zero man dude i think i have to i have to move my first uh how is it called my first living location to uh, your country <laughs> we have to pay a lot here oh to them uh yes in germany uh it's a little different in germany okay story in germany the state is very powerful means you you basically don't have to give your taxes to the state because you don't even get that kind of money when you get your salary the tax is already gone the company is just giving you the part that is not taxes and not the insurances and nothing else that is put on your bank account and the other money is automatically flowing to the state or to the government and then at the end of the year you can make a tax calculation 
that says like, hey, but you know, I have this and that costs and this is not okay. And actually I have to pay less costs. Then you hand that in, they check it and then you get some money back. But the money for the taxes in Germany is never even reaching you because they don't even give it to you at first, you know. It's, they keep it in the first place. This is not the same everywhere, I think. There are some countries where you get the full money and then you have to give the taxes back and so on. So it's not even so easy to, to cheat the taxes in Germany because the tax is already gone from the start. Or the money is already gone from the start. Okay, now I have no problem taking that big fat thing out, but I think there are two now. And there are a lot of these small fuckers around here that I don't like. In the US, taxes are withheld from check. At the end of the year, you have to work out how much you owe or how much is owed to you. You can be fined for not figuring out. Yeah, in, okay. In, in Germany, they basically, let's say, they take the taxes from you. And then you don't even get them from the start from your salary and they take enough so basically you never have to pay more taxes at the end of the year you can usually only get back money you know as a private person if you have your own big company or if you're a giant corporation then it's different but usually they take so much from your income that at the end of the year, if you make your own calculation, you can get money back, but you don't. Uh... This I don't know what to do. This area is pretty shitty. Where do I have to go? Is that a... Oh, uh, that's one of them. Crap. Tax software companies lobby the government to keep it that way, right? Uh, in Germany, we also have tax software companies, but they're actually good because they cost... The software costs basically nothing and you get like much, much more back, so... Well, 99%. Wow, that's that's insane. But if it's if it steps on me, I guess we're gonna still get a problem. <laughs> oh no, they're coming along here. What? How the fuck did this thing see me? What the fuck? It looked me the other way. Oh, let's just jump down. Please tell me it's here. It is here, okay. Yes, they also lobby them to keep the laws extremely complicated so no one can figure it out. Yeah, same as here. Tax laws are super complicated. I feel like I've been here in MGS1. Finally. Oh the shit. The hangar's just a little bit further. Stay on route. Mm. You are a science which was not created by nature. You uh I think this is death. There was like a there was some items up here. Oh, there's also some items here. Nice. Railgun ammo. Oh yes. What's that? Ah, for the okay. A lot of explosives. Cool. Okay. 
Okay, we have to make it past this one though. I don't know how that's possible. Hope it's not too difficult. That wasn't too difficult. Is on the floor above you. Use the lift. So I entered a draft. Bad deck. But I'm 2-0 so far. Round 1, opponent scoop for being mana screwed. Round 2, opponent mulled then misplayed a couple of times and conceded. <laughs> it's something. It jumps in happiness. Yeah, that sounds cool. A win is a win, exactly. <laughs> cool. Good luck, man. Keep going. Oh. By the way, I have good and bad video game news for this stream. The good news is they have finally sent my copy of Pikmin. It's uh, currently transported and it will soon arrive. Yay! The bad news is I bought another game that is not super new anymore, so it was not so easy to find. And I bought a copy on eBay. It arrived today. I opened it, I threw in the code, and the code was already in use. So I got super annoyed, complained to the guy, and he said, okay, if you send it back, get the money back. But I'm still pissed, because he sold me a game that had already, uh, the key was already used up. So that's very annoying. But at least the Pikmin thing is on the go. <laughs> so one good news. <laughs> yeah. I usually don't buy on uh, on eBay for that reason unless it's a game that is not uh, doesn't have like a like a license key or something or if it says brand new and still in foil then I buy it this one said like new or exactly like new but used so I thought somebody opened it but never played it but no somebody used the code that sucked Ooh. Railgun is no longer here. Naomi. This what? will be your grave as my queen wishes. The suicide gecko are on their way. Soon there'll be nothing left of this place. We've been had. All gone. I think I might be able to get it working. I just need some time. Hurry. Mm. I'll leave the rest to you. Naomi. Excellent. You'll amuse me until they arrive. Okay, Solar Gun one shot swamp. Well, there's only one problem. I don't have it, man! <laughs> um, is there a bonus if we use tranquilizers on him? Or do we use, uh, well, the real shit? What do we have anyway? I don't know if explosives work so well. The railgun could be cool, but it's hard with the charging up. The grenade launcher worked pretty well in, in MGS2, I think, against him, for me at least. Um, I'm afraid a sniper might be too slow. So maybe the shotgun. Shotgun is, I think, a good all-around weapon. It's always good. Tranquilizers or not. <laughs> Are you a regular weapon or so? 
So is there any uh, benefit in uh, tranquilizers? Otherwise I would try. I think we can try. Does he have a life bar even like a, uh, he has a double life bar. So I guess tranquilizers will make a difference. Oh fuck. Can't remember? Alright, that means we gotta do it. Where is he anyway? There we go. damage oh but we gotta be careful now but he's pretty low already to do oh wow oh man if that is if I have the right idea it will be super cool oh no he's up there wait how is he how is he not getting hit what the fuck the shots went through him What is happening? Why are the shots going through him? Am I really missing him? Okay, now I think I know what to do. But isn't he down? He's at zero health. that you know what makes him so indestructible is the nano machines so I think I should use CQC and use that on him then uh, he's a Beyblade <laughs> then it's game over for him but for that I have to use CQC which by the way I'm not sure exactly how to use but <laughs> I'll try and uh, yeah but Dude, that took all his life out. Nice. 
Now we have to get rid of this. We have to use this and then... Uh, okay. That didn't work. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm always running out of ammo with that, with that weapon. It really doesn't have enough shots. Oh, we're really out of ammo now. Uh, yes. Let's buy all the ammo. Okay. Wow, that was pretty good. I don't know. I'm uh, going for the straw in the haystack, honestly. I don't know what I'm doing. You had your shotgun that time? I think I should just shoot him one more time? You think it's enough? I thought he was regenerating anyway. It doesn't do anything, does it? I mean, you have to unequip it to grab him. Really? But it says CQC in the corner. Isn't that enough? like a great headshot yeah he's down okay no 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 I think I'm too slow no I had him for a second fuck I think it's working I had him for one second next time I have to prepare before might be enough Opponent top deck and answer the whole. Ah, 2 1. Opponent top deck answer and answer. Ah, crap. Be right back. All right, man. Have a good sleep. <laughs> Any damage basically. Okay, that was better. No, also. Very little damage. Okay, that was better. Okay, let's try to grab him. No! It's really difficult.
Oh, I got him already. Cool. All right, let's be. Oh man, you only have like a you have like one second to do it. It's pretty tough. This is a long fight. Got him! Oh man, always when he's at the wall, it's also extra difficult. Yeah. There we go! Yeah, exactly. Got to <laughs> got a spam triangle, that's what I did. <laughs> Can I make you food? Ah, okay. Now you're a mere mortal, like the rest of us. Never. But can you kill this mere mortal? Ah, oh, dude, what is this? Man, death. Question for you. Does this boss fight that we just did... He brought back up. This question that we just did, uh, this, this boss fight, does it remind you of any other boss fight that you have played? And I know that you have played the other boss fight that I'm talking about. <laughs> so did you. Yes. Correct. Does it remind you of any other boss fight? There's another boss fight that is very similar to this. I wonder what was first. No? No bell rings? Alright. Resident Evil 5. The fight against Dexter, uh, against uh, Wesker. Before he lifts off with the plane, you have to inject him with a virus continuously. And you also shoot him down. Ah, so it was that, right? It was very similar, no? It felt very similar. It was this game first? Ah, oh, okay. I don't know if they, if they stole it or just had randomly the same idea, but it was very similar. Man, I played a ton of RE5. 2007 versus 2009, okay. It's actually that range where you can copy well. <laughs> Two years before, it's still in your memory if you played it. Uh. RE5 had a few cool fights. Do you remember also the fight against Jill where you have to pull that thing out? That control thing, that was also pretty awesome. Man, I love I love RE5. RE5. It's a great game. Not the best RE game, of course, but cool game, really. One of the best co-op games of its generation. Yeah, I agree. Agree. So we are playing this raid. Okay. Whoa! 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 What? I don't see anything. Dude, what's going on? Okay, another one dead. Nope. 
Man, this weapon is insane. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. Oh shit, I think I missed. No, I didn't. It's a little stupid that I can't even... I can't even watch what's happening on the right side because uh, I'm so busy on the, on the left side. Where are the enemies? Wasn't there one more? No, that's it. Okay, I think we're good. It's an epic fight, well... Ah, crap, there are more. Give up, dude, I'm blasting them all. Oh shit. Is it dying? Oh shit, I just saw it. I was looking at my stamina bar. Oh my god. Hell, thank you. I just, I was looking at the stamina bar, I was thinking like, hey, I'm doing really well. <laughs> because the other bar was completely gone, oh god. <laughs> oh man, that was terrible, sorry guys. <laughs> but I think it's not so hard, if I just heal, I could even equip the rations then, should be pretty safe. Is this the boss fight? Uh, no. By the way, I'm playing on the left. On the right, uh, nobody's playing. Ah, now I understand. I now I understand the cross here. Got him! Oh yeah, I wanted to change. Uh, oh, we can also use that. It's also pretty useful. This weapon is fun. Uh, we're doing, uh, we're doing okay. Let's be safe this time. I don't want to make the same mistake again. Almost we died last time. Engaging 
Wait, isn't that thing dead already? Kinda weird that it takes so long until they finally die. Snake. Snake. Snake air. Ah, okay. I didn't hear it. I hope it worked. <laughs> I was so busy. <laughs> GG. Did something happen on the right half of the screen? Probably not, or... <laughs> Snake, get out of the way. Dude, they have an endless supply of those. Huh? Now for the fun fight? Okay, I thought we're done. This thing might come in handy after all. <laughs> okay. Well, this is Metal Gear, Metal Gear. <laughs> he was never immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But after so many battles, He's finally reached his limit. Doctor, he's my pain. <laughs> Naomi, Sunny asked me to tell you something. What is it? I cooked them right. What? The eggs? Good for you, Sonny. You finally did it. No, I can't save you. Trust me, Dr. Emmett. Give this to him. Not for revenge, but to end his suffering. Why is she not doing it? Now you can return to your true self. You can be at peace. Dev, three to one. Opponent's deck slightly better. Nice, man. You're doing it. Let's go. Forgive me. This doesn't change anything. Why? We can't erase the past. Nor. Love when you play against a better version of your deck and still win. <laughs> yeah, when that happens. <laughs> Snake. Liquids down below us. 
He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Outer Haven? Snake. It's MGS1, or? not lead them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. Naomi! What have you done? Vamp and I. We are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Then you... Cancer. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. With the nanomachines gone, time will unfreeze and begin to flow. What are you saying? That makes no sense. Goodbye. Hell. Don't! Cringe. What kind of crap is that? I love how this scene has a guy. The color of the floor, a cyborg ninja, and a little robot gathered around a woman who looks like she's going for a winter stroll. <laughs> yeah.
job to do. That's right. We need you. I'm done crying. I don't have any more tears to shed. We have to get out of here. Any ideas? Time's running short, so I'll explain as we go. Pay close attention. I'm listening. <laughs> Okay. Five minutes, Gatling gun. Wait, what? just run through it or jump through it I guess we can ah, we're taking a little much damage here We can make it. I'm just mashing buttons now, but it seems to work. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, the legend. Uh, welcome. And thank you for the follow. Legend, uh, welcome. Okay, health is getting a little low. I don't know exactly how long this scene is going. But I feel like this is this stuff here is repeating itself constantly now. Ah, okay. Cool. Walking over them seemed to be the easiest way, or dashing over them. Isn't that one of the Metal Gear Ray? Well, how was it called from MGS2? Outer Heaven. Hmm. Old versus new, all right. It's now like uh, 
The T-800 versus the T-1000, huh? Terminator 2. <laughs> Let's go! What is happening? Oh my god, what is this? Mecha Godzilla fight or something? <laughs> oh man. I mean, it's fun. Let's see how the gameplay is, but. Uh It has a lot of energy, Jesus. Good job, Snake. Keep it coming. You have another weapon, all right. I have the iPod. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah. AT missile, anti-tank missile, FE laser. Also, there's a lot of damage. Counter attack. Where? Huh. Fire. 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 Shoot down the approaching missiles with the machine cannon. Don't let a single one slip through. Here it comes. Good job, Snake. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. Is that it? Okay. It's always those decks. Get your money back. Yeah, totally. I'm gonna take a shower and head ready for bed. See you next time. Yo, thanks Steph for hanging around. It was cool. Also, thanks for all the tips and infos. Uh, that helped a lot for the game. It's fun having you here. Thank you so much for watching. Let's stay for the upcoming awesome fight. I thought that was the upcoming awesome fight, no? Is <laughs> there <Some> more? <laughs>
think again. <laughs> what? Not looking forward to this. <laughs> Sammy, forgive me. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> really? Oh, come on. these tourists around you. They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. This is very similar to MGS1 at the end where Grey Fox sacrifices himself to save Snake and then Metal Gear Liquid squishes him, no? Very similar, very similar scene.
<laughs> they're missing. They're nearly next to them. Okay, I would say this is Act 4, huh? Uh, special items used, none. Flashback sports, 99. Okay. Continues, 13. Yeah. Alerts, 43. Shit. Oh, wait, but this is global, right? <clears throat> alerts, 43. Okay. Yeah, because we didn't have that many alerts, maybe 4, 5, 6. Yeah, uh, worst case maybe ten, but not forty-three. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we want to save. And also, we want to end because, uh, yeah. Let's be honest; it's very late. It's super late, even for me. And uh, what we did is we managed to make it to the end of chapter four or act four. And tomorrow we continue with Act 5. So I don't know exactly how big Act 5 is and if we can finish. Or, I mean, potentially tomorrow there was a suggestion from all day that we play some Mario Kart 8 online. And that will also be a cool idea. I will try, I will try to write uh, Colwood and see if he can also participate. If other people are interested, you can also participate, of course, in Mario Kart 8 with us. It's no problem. You can just exchange the Switch ID and then we can play together. So probably we'll talk about it tomorrow on Discord if we will play Mario Kart 8 or if we'll go back to Metal Gear Solid 4. And uh, yeah, then we'll decide about it. I'll put you the link again. And that's going to be it for the stream. Thanks, Mana, also for, for being here. All right.